He's trying to read the memories from the mask with the power of the crystals. Just as I know your spells when I wear the mask, he wants to learn the magic of the Djinn of Time. He's trying just as I know. Struggle as much as you like. Or rather, as much as you still can. You wanted to meet me face to face. Then stand up and look at me. Yes, squirm while you may. I'm in your mind now. I'll shred everything I can find. Soon nothing will be left of your miserable existence. <laughs> you have won. You have defeated me. You've destroyed the greatest temple the world has ever seen. Death will now rain down on the troops. No one will survive to tell of your terrible deed. Soon none of what you've done will count for anything. You must be proud of yourself, for you have won. You've defeated me. Only no one will remember. He's here. Help! Somebody's there. The shield. I must move it. Treat her wounds. The bottle is empty. The bandage is all that I have. It was as though Satinav had played a prank and stopped time. An almost endless moment in which Sadja and the Adept just stared at each other. He didn't understand that his rescuing hand was more terrible to her than a thousand demon tentacles could have ever been. 
the final admission of her ghastly failure. Suddenly, Satinab snapped his fingers again, and life continued. As he pulled her away, I heard her scream. Leave me, she called. Leave me. Take me back. And again and again. I can't leave him behind. Over and over. Quieter and quieter. And ever farther away. It didn't take long, and they had disappeared. And that was that. I was right back where I started. Only one thing was different this time. This time, I was able to remember. Remember a princess who persevered in the face of the most impossible obstacles. It helped that the Gorian Desert is one of the most magical places known to this world. Several astral lines crossed there, and I lay directly among them. I grew ever more powerful, and I practiced and practiced and practiced. After 400 years, I succeeded in refining my spell to the point where I finally found a way to permanently transform my body. I left the desert and set out for Draconia. I had to know what had happened to my princess after our separation. What happened to the only woman who was ever prepared to entrust her life to a shady, magical staff. So this is where the staff took them. failed in the Gorian Desert. The staff turned us into stones so that the Andagastrians couldn't kill she us. The, the sun in the Gorian Desert the didn't treat him well. Time. First I lose Nuri, and now I'm a if stone. The, the staff of the might as well have killed me for good. the of time, he can retrieve things past. So this is where the staff took but them. Sadia didn't waken the djinn. Why not? Hmm. She was devastated. I can see <laughs> mountains from the it's core of my eye. That Are we that far you north? You just then? have to put Close the pieces to Raven's together. Peak? I wonder if Geron's awake yet. The trees have shaped themselves into stone, and the stone into an archway. This reminds me of the burial chamber Fahi once mentioned. So this is where the staff took them. A brook! Its source must be in the mountains north of here. I'm not thirsty right now. The astral accumulator from the school. I can't reach it. How could I? <gasps> Garon? Garon, can you hear me? I think I've solved the riddle. It's a little complicated. There are so many little pieces. There's only one thing missing. And then we can finally complete the story. Then I'll ask the staff to change you back. I promise. Can you do me one more favor first? Sadia's ruby has a crack. You need to repair it. Can you do that for me? Please, Geron, repair the ruby. It's impossible to read the inscription while wearing the mask. The story is almost over. We just need the ruby. Thank you. And now let me try something. I pray to the gods that I'm not mistaken. Fadan Faskadan. Esplas de Quatan, Humuril or Gras, Ferogoran, Il Bamutir Gerol Falan, Yuntir Quatan, Feluntir Sodan. Yaron? Are you still there? If so, then you should be able to cast the staff's first spell. Please give me a sign that it works. I was right. Thank you. Thank you, Geron. Oh, <laughs> you're probably wondering where you are. 
The staff created this place. A burial chamber of a mogul in the middle of the Andagastrian forest. Isn't that impressive? Leave the mask and come to me. He's here. I'll be right back. Bryder. Bryder! And I get left behind again. Nuri. I don't see anything magical. No, I'll leave it like that. I'll try to send Nuri a vision. She could find the mountain, but how would she know which campfire I'm at? I don't see anything. It. I'll send Nuri to the mountain and then along the course of the brook until she reaches the fire. I hope it works. Thank the gods. I'm starting to remember something. I know how I can transform myself back. don't see anything magical. Something tells me that it won't help Bryder at all if I destroy the ruby again. Quite the contrary. She doesn't care. I don't see anything magical. Either I wasn't clear enough, or it doesn't matter to her. The trees have shaped themselves into stone, and the stone into an archway. A brook! Its source must be in the mountains north of here. So this is where the staff took them. The staff turned us into stones so that the Andagastrians couldn't kill us. The sun in the Gorian Desert didn't treat him well. I don't see any... She doesn't care. The smoke rises into the sky. I'm cold. I wish someone would push me closer to the fire.
I don't see any... Something tells me that it won't help quite the contrary. I don't see anything... Oh, finally. Fi, is everything all right? Oh, yes. My stiff old bones haven't felt this young in ages. Thanks, Nuri. Who are you? That doesn't matter now. Will you promise to wait for me here? All right. I'll be right back. I don't know. Whatever happens, please stay here. I will. I need to rest a bit anyway. Flying is fun, but so exhausting. The transformation really affected him. Let me rest a moment. I'll follow you soon. The smoke rises into the sky. Ah, oh, finally, a little warmth. I'm not thirsty right now. So this is... The accumulator doesn't have enough power left to change them back. I'll have to ask the staff to do that. So this is where the staff took them. The accumulator doesn't have... I'll have... Not after what happened to Ulrich. That's definitely an extension of Raven's Peak. That's where I once vanquished the Seer. It feels like centuries have passed since then. They're too far away, but they do give me a good idea of where I am. The trees have shaped themselves into stone, and the stone into an archway. All I can hear is the crackle of the fire. It's been 450 years since I, a talking staff with no memories, kindled the light in my prison and saw a strange woman who would change my life forever. Her story began in this chamber, and between these walls we will end it together. Merhaba, Geron. Welcome. You were able to free yourself. What does all this mean? Where are we? Ask him. Indeed. Ask me. You should know that I've waited a long time for this day, and would not like to wait much longer. But if you have a great many questions... What's going to happen here? So you still haven't figured out why I sent you my memories? Why you're here? I am here because Fahi promised to change Nuri back into a fairy if I helped him with a little riddle. No one said anything about ensouled magic staves, flying fortresses and strange dreams. Life is full of surprises, isn't it? Ha! You laugh, but I wouldn't have believed that one day someone would rescue me from my dungeon. That I was to climb mountains without legs and wrestle without arms with demons. I would have laughed if someone had told me a princess will appear to you and, despite your strange form, show you the greatest wonders of the world. Oh, how I would have laughed. Okay, but that doesn't explain why we're here. You know that Sadia and I were separated. Ah, 
gold and time together came to an end, when I finally found a way to leave the Gorian Desert, centuries had passed. I wanted to know if Sadia had done it, if she had become the great heroine she always wanted to be. I wanted to hear how her name was whispered in the streets in awe. Sadia al-Kabir, Sadia the Great, the heroine who once... But no one had ever heard of her. So I continued and expanded my search. I wanted to know what happened to her after our separation. I followed her trail back to Draconia. I found the Adept's journal and the Jinn of Times' mask. But Sanja's real fate remained a mystery to me. Finally, I met Fahi and asked him to bring me here. A man named Alric had taken her ruby from Draconia and brought it to Undergast. He sought the mask in order to bring back his deceased wife but he found only the gemstone. Is all this really important? Why did you need the ruby? Why the mask? Why all of this? I wanted to bring together all the relics surrounding Sadia's disappearance and finally understand what happened to her. At least I would know what happened to her. She deserved that. There was only one problem. I'm terrible at riddles. That's why I needed experts to help me who could understand every detail, who could be prepared for today. Prepared? To do what? To be able to tell Sadja's tale to the end without making a mistake. Does it matter how she died? She's dead. We can't change that. You're wrong. You will determine what happened to her. I don't understand. The Garden of Oblivion, Geron. I read the journal to the end. After her return, Sadia went into the Garden of Oblivion and never came out again. Nothing that happens in the Garden has actually happened until someone talks about it. Outside the Garden. And since Sadia has been forgotten since that day, her fate has never been told. And thus never completed. I never did understand the Garden. Aaron, the events in the Garden have no effect on the outside world. As though they never happened. Only once someone convincingly tells of those events do they become true. But if it turns out that they lied, or were mistaken... Then Satanav's invisible hand punishes them for their sacrilege. That's why we mustn't make a mistake. I think I've explained enough about our wondrous meeting. Are you ready, Garon? Just a moment. At the waterfall, you promised to change Nuri back to her old form. And I will. But first, we must complete Sadja's story. What about the inscription on the burial chamber? You mean the stone and the scarab? Fahi believes that the inscription is the key to everything. But as apt as his intuition may be, in this case, he's mistaken. The riddle is apparently only a strange jotting on the margins, a random blemish on an otherwise monumental painting. There's nothing else to say about it. Sadja was taken to the burial chamber to read trivial inscriptions and, as proud as she was, she refused. That's all. What's Fahi's role in all this? Fahi is a man of many talents. He has a feeling for tales and he's good at solving riddles. In addition, he had a wagon and a tent in which I could hide on my long journey. He is helping me solve the riddle, and in return, I protect his business from looters. That is our agreement. So he's actually harmless. <laughs> Fahi is the most harmless man I've ever met in my 3,000 years. I was sorry to petrify him, but it was the only way to save him from your fellow citizens. Why are you here, Bryder? Sadia's story doesn't have anything to do with you. Geron, there's nothing left for me here. I'm a deserter. My own comrades are hunting me. This is my only refuge. Please, even if you still don't understand, let me bring it to an end. I'm sure everything will be fine again. The world will never be as fine as it once was. What if one of us ends Sadia's story and is wrong? If Satinav learns that the tale we tell can't possibly be true, then he'll make it unhappen and declare the teller guilty of sacrilege. Don't worry, Geron. We won't make a mistake. I've thought everything through very carefully. All right. Then put the mask on the bust of my old master and let us begin.
It's a replica of the bust from the burial chamber. Better than the original, isn't it? Put the mask on the bust, and then we'll be done. Thank you, Geron. Are you ready now? Yes. Let's get this over with. Thank you, Geron. Which of you will now step forward and tell the story to its end? <laughs> 